right, y'all, you guys always ask me for a catch and cook of alligator gar, so here we go. We got a nice alligator gar. It is probably just under four feet. We're gonna do our very first catch and cook of an alligator gar. Full disclosure, I have never done this. I have seen a ton of videos doing it. So here we go. Let's see if I can figure out what the hell I'm doing, y'all. Backwards for me. Here we go. So you might be wondering why the hell I'm doing this video if I've never done this before. And the reason is, I don't want y'all to be intimidated doing stuff that you don't really know how to do. There's only one way to learn, y'all. We're gonna learn together. I'm pretty sure a larger butcher knife would have worked. I have my machete, but it is dull as all could be. Well, it's more dull, but it's got that weight to it. We got that off, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fillet right down and pull this scales off of this guy. All right, y'all, now what we wanna do, I guess we're starting on the back. Let's get these, get this scales off. It's like an armor plate and you should be able to just run down the scales. Tell you what, I have filleted a lot of fish, catfish, trout. It's my first alligator gar, y'all. Absolutely my first time. So one thing I gotta say too is I did not believe this alligator gar. So the meat's gonna probably be a little more red. Um, I also do not believe catfish, so I didn't even think about it when I was on the river. Now we're making some progress. I'm gonna flip them. Because I'm right handed. So, if you guys got any tips, tricks, awesome videos on how to do this easier or better, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Go down this way. So it's starting to just come off kind of like how you score down a catfish fillet. Again, y'all, first time ever doing this. Let's see if we can just go right down the spine. And we separated the stomach. You can feel the rib bones, just like you would on a catfish fillet. There you are. We are making progress. We're just slicing right down the rib cage, just separating the meat. On the on the one side, we still have another side to do. There we go. That's one big ass. One big ass filet. We're gonna come back and get that off once we get this side filleted up. Just doing the same thing, going right down the spine. Here we go, you guys. I know this is not the prettiest. But like I said, this is the first time I've ever filleted one of these. And I'm putting this on video just to show people not to be afraid to try it. 
Okay, I don't know really, you know what I'm doing here. Watched a couple YouTube videos, but you know what? I didn't know how to fish for gar until I knew how to fish for gar. So I'm not gonna know how to clean a gar until I know how to clean a gar. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. And again, I did not bleed the gar. I would have probably bled them next time I do this. It's not much different than a catfish, honestly, y'all. All right, y'all, there we go. Here we go. We got two. Filet number one. Filet number two. Just a little bit of scale on there. You can kind of see that scale is like armor. So we'll go ahead and trim a little bit more of this off. But I tell you what, y'all, that was a little intimidating. That, I ain't gonna lie, that was a little intimidating. That's a big fish. That is a big fish to try to fillet and you have no idea how to do it. Got it done, we got it done. I hope if nothing else, I at least inspire you to try to do something you don't know how to do. All right, get this thrown out, get the flesh chopped up, and get the oil hot.